हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू ऋषराज क्लासेस यूट्यूब चैनल इन साइंस ऑफ क्लास नाइन वी हैव एन इंटरेस्टिंग चैप्टर दैट इज इज मैटर अराउंड अस इन प्योर एंड इन दैट वी हैव एन इंटरेस्टिंग कॉन्सेप्ट दैट इज हाउ द सब्सटेंसेस आर सोलबल इन वाटर व्हिच सब्सटेंसेस आर सोलबल इन वाटर हाउ दे आर सोलबल हाउ मच दे आर सोलबल एवरीथिंग इज एक्सप्लेन इन दैट बुक बट इट्स सेड दैट साइंस is incomplete without activities or we can say activities makes science interesting and we can understand the concepts more clearly with the help of activities even if the concepts are simple activities makes it more interesting already we have shooted many videos in which we have explained many interesting activities you can check the playlist of that in our description box so as i said today in this video i am once again here with one interesting activity which is related to the solubility now what is the meaning of solubility when we say that substance is soluble when we mix something in one other substance if we get the clear solution then we say yes it is soluble now for example if we mix salt in water it easily get dissolves yes means salt is soluble in water if we try to dissolve sand particles in water do they form clear solution no means sand particles are not soluble in water so here we are going to do one experiment on this table i have kept three glasses okay two glasses are empty and in one glass i have ice cubes i'll tell you later why i have brought all these things here is clear water and in this flask i have hot water and this is the bowl of salt okay now first what we are going to do we are just going to dissolve salt in this water so first thing what i'll do i'll take water in this glass i'll just take half glass of water now i'll put one spoon of this salt in this water let's dissolve it see as i said now here we hardly find any salt particles in this water means salt and water makes a clear solution i have one more video where i have explained the meaning of homogeneous solution heterogeneous solution and suspension you can check that video i'll share the link in the description box okay so here the substance which we dissolve here what we did we dissolve salt this is called as solute and in which substance did we mix this salt in water so the medium in which we dissolve the solute is called as solvent so in case of salt solution salt is solute and water is solvent similarly if we make sugar solution means if we mix a spoon of sugar in water sugar is going to be salt and water is solvent in that case okay now here i dissolve one spoon i'll check whether i can dissolve one more spoon in this i'll add one more spoon of salt here and i'll again try to dissolve it yes again i got the clear solution i would like to add one more spoon in this let's see how much salt we can dissolve in this water you know when we are invited for lunch or dinner then the host they force us just have one more for you just have one more let do so like that we are feeding this water with salt let's see how much salt we can dissolve in this water yes it's still getting dissolved i would like to add one more spoon yes 
now the dissolving okay process it has become a little bit slow and says salt is not dissolving fast as it was getting dissolved initially means when we put the first spoon of salt it dissolved very quickly but now it's taking time but still i'm trying i'm checking whether it's getting dissolved or no yes one more spoon the solution is becoming a little bit thick by addition of salt it's becoming little bit thick now it's difficult now it's not getting dissolved see the particles are left here okay i'll just check i'll just add little bit more salt now it's not getting dissolved it's very difficult we have to take more efforts okay now what i'll do for a time being i'll just keep this glass aside okay we'll have a look at it later now in this glass i have ice cubes okay now first i want the ice cold water in this glass so i'll add water in this you know because i want same uh, quantity of water in this now this is ice cold water in this i will try to dissolve salt okay in this ice cold water i will dissolve salt let's see how much salt will get dissolved in this ice cold water all the process the process is little bit slower means how fast the salt was getting dissolved in this normal water it's getting dissolved but we can say the rate of getting dissolved it's little bit slow it's slower than the previous one okay i'll add one more spoon not getting dissolved easily let's check the salt particles are as it is at the bottom of the glass they are not getting dissolved or we can say it's getting dissolved very slowly i'll check with one more spoon No, now it's very difficult salt particles are getting settled at the bottom they are not getting dissolved so here we found nearly four to five spoons we dissolved in this it was normal water and later when we tried to add some more salt it didn't get dissolved means what now this solution is having maximum quantity of solute in this so such solution is called as saturated solution yes it's saturated solution so what is the meaning of saturated solution the solution in which maximum quantity of solute is dissolved is called saturated solution now if we take the same quantity of water in all the glasses can we dissolve the same amount of salt in each and every glass no it's clear here itself in this glass it was normal water and 4 to 5 spoons of salt easily dissolved in this water but hardly after 2 to 3 spoons the salt it stopped getting dissolved in this water why because the temperature of this glass is very low because we have ice cold water in this yes there are ice cubes along with this water and so the salt is not getting dissolved you can see the salt is as it is at the bottom of the glass 
Now in this flask I have hot water. Now let's check how much salt we can dissolve in this hot water. Yes, it's sufficiently warm. Here we dissolve 4 to 5 spoons. So I'll add 2 spoons here. And let's dissolve it. Here the process is little bit faster. The salt is getting dissolved very quickly. Even compared to the normal water, it's getting dissolved very quickly in this warm water. Okay, I'll add two more spoons. Initially, we were not having idea that how much salt will get dissolved. So, I was adding one by one. Now, altogether, four spoons we dissolve. Yes, even this is getting dissolved. If we take a little bit more, we can say hot water, the process will be still faster than this. So here I have the lukewarm water, we can say it's not too hot, it's lukewarm water. Yes, it brought this up. I'll add one more spoon. If you compare how much salt it will dissolve in first glass, then in second glass, We'll come to know the difference. As from this experiment, what is clear? Yes, saturated solution is the solution in which maximum quantity of solute is dissolved. But is it same for, just take an example of only salt solution, that if we take the water at different temperature, can we dissolve the same amount of salt? To get the saturated solution no so here temperature plays a very important role so how can we define now saturated solution more accurately saturated solution is the solution in which maximum quantity of solute is dissolved in the particular solvent at particular temperature or at constant temperature at particular constant temperature so if temperature differs then the quantity of solute what is going to get dissolved in the solvent also differs say now so much salt we have dissolved I think five to six spoons I have added in this and still it is getting dissolved now the salt is not getting dissolved it's settling down so even we have got saturated solution here in this last plus Okay, now just see here. Now here, this is saturated solution in normal water at room temperature. Then, this is the solution of ice cold water where the temperature is very less. See, here we have one thick layer of salt below this. See here. And here, so this is the saturated solution with we can say hot water, warm water. It depends on the temperature of the water. So, just see, even here we have a thick layer of salt at the bottom. Now the salt is not getting dissolved. So, I think with this simple activity, the concept of solution, saturated solution, and how the temperature plays the important role in getting the saturated solution. We can use this in our daily life. See, you know, while making sharbat, okay, in a large quantity, sometimes we have to melt large quantity of sugar in that. Now, we know the science behind this. So, before adding cold water or before adding ice cubes, melt the sugar in normal water or 
warm water melt the required quantity of sugar in that and later at the end you can add cold water or the ice cubes so once we know this concept we can apply this concepts in our daily life the students who are watching this video i would like to request you all to perform this experiment at home it's very interesting if you do this at home you will clearly understand what is the meaning of solubility saturated solution and when you see actually what exactly happens the concept will be more clear to you so i think this is enough for this video so very soon we will meet in our next video with few more interesting activities and to get the regular updates of such interesting videos what you are supposed to do yes subscribe our channel and do share these videos among your friends my dear viewers thank you so much for watching this video